Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Listen, we're coming to you with some good news. It looks like they have apprehended the man responsible for uh, takeoff's death. Um, a man, this is directly from the AP Press and Variety. A man has been arrested and charged with the murder in connection with the death of the Migos rapper, Takeoff. This was confirmed by Houston Police Chief Troy Finner, announced at a news conference on Friday. They said that Patrick Xavier Clark was arrested in Houston on Thursday evening. He is 33 years old. However, a second man, Cameron Joshua 22, was charged with the unlawful carrying of the weapon. Okay, so there's two people. One was charged with an unlawful carrying of a weapon, I think because he was a felon and had a felony, even though they're saying it was of a weapon, but it is unclear whether that was a weapon that actually got take off but it looks like they just got him on a felony charge they also said that cameron uh i'm sorry patrick though was the one uh arrested in connection with the murder the police chief said we lost a good man adding that he's spoken with takeoff's family and thanked them for their patience throughout the investigation now takeoff was shot, as you guys know was shot and unfortunately lost his life on November 1st at a bowling alley in downtown Houston where he and Quabble and his uh his uncle and of course his Migos bandmate were playing dice around 2:30 a.m. on Tuesday afternoon. Let me get through this, right? Now here's the weird thing. When I first started, they said that they were playing dice and it was an argument that erupted out of the dice game. Now the police came out and said they were not playing dice. Takeoff was not playing dice and he had nothing to do with the argument. Oddly enough, they were supposed to be under Jay Prince's protection too. Because you have to ask for permission to get into the city. I wonder how that's being handled. Officers said that the crowd of approximately 40 to 50 people were at the scene when the shooting took place. Takeoff was pronounced dead at the scene while Quabble was unharmed. Two other people were shot and taken to the hospital. At Friday's press conference, Sergeant Michael Burrell said takeoff was an innocent bystander. Do you hear that? He was an innocent bystander of the argument that led to a shooting death. They said the event was a private party. There was a lucrative dice game that went on at the event. There was an argument that happened afterwards outside the bowling alley, which led to the shooting. He said, I can tell you that takeoff was not involved in the dice game. He was not involved in the argument or even what happened outside. He was not harmed. He was an innocent bystander. Houston mayor said, I will say that too many young men, and I'll be more specific, too many young men of color are killing other young men. This has to stop. You guys, this is a lot, but at least they have somebody in connection uh, to the murder. The one thing I do want to know is this 22-year-old, I believe his name is Joshua, um, he was charged with felony possession of the weapon. Is that the same weapon or is he just being included on a weapons charge? More information is coming out. They are being purposely unclear. Maybe they're hoping that the 22-year-old on the felony charge, Joshua, will talk and give information, y'all. This is far from over. There are still a million questions to be answered, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's going on with that. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what's going on and I will talk to you later.